Hello guys, Fazman here. In this video, I am going to show you how to move your operating system files and programs to a new SSD or hard drive. So if you are looking to upgrade your computer storage or maybe your old hard drive is too slow or you have run out of space, you can quickly move your windows to a new SSD or hard drive while retaining the original system data using PassFab for Easy Partition. PassFab for Easy Partition is a software that allows users to migrate their operating system, data and applications from one disk to another without having to reinstall the system. This software supports Windows 11, 10, 8 and 7 and offers a quick and safe way to migrate to a new Windows 11. Upgrade to a larger hard drive, move to a new high-speed SSD and improve disk performance. So the download link is available in the video description. After downloading install this and after installation launch the software, PassFab for Easy Partition offers a variety of features to improve disk performance and solve disk space problems. It offers a quick, safe and easy way to migrate your operating system data and applications without the need to reinstall the system. It also provides users with the ability to upgrade to a new large capacity hard drive, upgrade to a new high speed SSD and improve disk performance. Now we need to transfer windows to the new SSD, click on start in PassFab for easy partition, select the source disk that you are going to migrate from and the target disk that you want to migrate to. A pop-up window will be displayed, click show to proceed to the next step. In the preview interface, check the information of the source and target disk. Then click start to perform the system migration. The migration process may take a few minutes or 10 of minutes depending on the data volume of the source disk. Once the migration is complete, click finish to complete the process. After migrating operating system to the new hard drive, replace the original hard drive with the new one. The computer will automatically recognize the new SSD and working normally. I hope this tutorial was helpful to you and if you have any question or comments, please leave them down below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.